Race number intro. Hello, Philip. Hello. <laughs> There's Philip. There's training stuff in the face. <laughs> There's Tony. Hello. And Mother. Hello. So we're out and about in Sheffield because there's a bit of a race on. The Great Yorkshire Run 2011. And yet again, I'm not running it. I ran it first, second, and third year. This is the fifth. So yeah, I missed last year as well. I'm going to show you the crowds, which is probably up there. You probably can hear it already. <sighs> this is going to be mad. And Philip's going to be running this as well. As you can tell from the race number on his chest. He's not a superhero, it's not just a sign. And he's not got a cape on or out like that. It's, uh, it's going to be a lot, but if you get one, good luck to you. Trust them to have some copyright music, but while I talk over it, it's fine, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That crowd's already starting, and that's probably half the people so far. There's a lot more to go, yeah. Including our fish out here, look, he's over there. Yeah, yeah, I've got to have that on here, yeah. Welcome to the motivational dance. This guy, he does it every single year. Sorry for the wobble. And everybody is supposed to be doing the exercise, but they're not, obviously. <laughs> Nobody, it's very rare anybody actually does what he says. There is a few though. <laughs> Mummy's dancing. It was. And they're off. Well, good luck everybody. Our uh, 10 o'clock wave getting underway. The elite runners and uh, the good class club runners going through the line now. We're in the orange numbers. See, see the, our film. Uh, the orange color. We have the War of the Roses as well, the White Rose of Yorkshire and the Red Rose of Lancashire. Red Rose of Lancashire, captained by Vicky Beach from Coronation Street and the White Rose of Yorkshire by Dean Andrews from uh, Life on Mars and Ashes to Ashes, Spain. Now we've just got to wait for him to finish. So there we have the mayor of Sheffield when she turns back around. Now we know who's been doing the blowhole. Oh, look a squirrel! Oh, I better do my hair for it. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> Here we go. Here comes the winner. Come on, Marcel. Yeah, well done. So we're waiting for Philip to come <laughs> and they're waiting down there, see? Yeah, I think uh, the first of the women are coming through now. There we go, there's a race coming on. There she is. I'm absolutely naked. 
Oh, I need a drink. Give me a drink. Mm. Well done. This race it goes all the way to Hillsborough, where Sheffield Wednesday play. Yeah, I'm a right big football fan, aren't I? The original first race went that way, uh, that way, and uh, it was same amount of miles or kilometres because it's ten kilometres, and uh, it was just a fantastic atmosphere the whole way through. Uh, I'm not particularly fond of this version of the race, but it's still good, and I've. I have done it three times, like I said before. So hopefully next year I'll be doing it, and uh, I might be bringing you guys with me on that one. We'll see. The trins taking pictures of me. Here he comes. Well, I've got a quite stark history, this one of these guys Minutes, don't know seconds. <laughs> again. You'll, you'll find out when you get your numbers. Ah. I swear, Danny. So look at the team medal. Take your picture. Got your face in the ring. Ah. Winning tickets. Oh, Same as uh, I think uh, third year when I did it. Similar. So now Philip has finished his race. We're going to go up the road where they've got like um, a world food market. Uh, thing going on. So let's have a look at that. Here we go. Let's have a look around. See what we've got here. We've got chicken and meat. <sighs> Fine preserves and Caribbean. To be fair, it's not just food, it's like arts and crafts as well. We've got stuff like this and jewellery and crafts there. Shut up! Stop talking! Are you filming me? No, I'm filming me, but you're interrupting. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, what's Trim wearing? Go say out. Ha ha ha, got you. I think the false advertising in this area is not World Food Market, is it? It's World Everything Market, by the looks of things. Here we go, we're headed towards the Indian area. Oh, ding dong. I always get a ding dong. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, it's the sweet stand. Cookies, sweets, treats. Yum, 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 yum. What a crafts. Keep out. Oh, we can't drop in there then. That's a lot of mushrooms. Potatoes. Cheese! Friends found a countryman. No, it's fine, it's fine. I'm from Australia. How's it going? It's really good. Yeah. Lekker, lekker. All these are. Uh, different breads here. That one's looking quite tasty. That one is not. What's <laughs> that? I'm looking at these biscuits, I think I might have to get some. I bought myself some of these biscuit fingers that I'll try later on after I've had my dinner. What do you think? All right? can't really hear anything, which is good for the winter light. That's more like me. Yeah. Just again, like Australian backpackers. <laughs> Good night, mate. So I've splashed out a bit on some uh, more stuff. Some tarts there, look, see? But because they're from France, it was £3.50 for the four of them. What? Bit here. Why not? Treat myself for once. 
Well. <laughs> so we finished shopping and we're done for the day-ish. Um, I kind of bought something else. I'm a, I'm a naughty boy. What's the name of that guy from <laughs> Big Trouble in Little China? Kurt Russell. That's it, yeah, Kurt Russell. Right. So I think because it was his race, I think he should do the peace out. Thank you for watching. Yay! Peace out. Peace out. Woo. Not to do the proper peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out.